In this coding exercise, we have a pretty interesting and important problem to solve. Let's say that we have a situation where we have a set of invoices, and these invoices here I created structs for, but the struct is very similar to the type of data object you'd be getting with a database query or something like that. So this is going to be similar to what you'd use in a real life Ruby on Rails application or some type of application like that. So here we have invoices. We have an invoice that has a name, a total, and a category. And then I created three invoices. This is all just in the test block, but we need our solution to pass the test so that this makes sense to have this here. Now, I also placed all of those invoices inside of an array. So essentially what we're gonna be working with and what we need to be able to sort through is an array of structs. So we have an invoice for um, Google, Amazon, and Yahoo. Each one of these contain their name, the total, and the category. What we need to do is to be able to sort those. So in other words, Amazon should be, is expected to be the first item. And as you can see, Amazon has the largest total, which means that we need to sort the invoices and we need to have the greatest ones to be on the top and Yahoo, which is the lowest, should be on the bottom. So we're gonna take in the total. We don't care about the other parameters. We only care about our total. So how exactly can we accomplish this? Well, first, we know that we are going to iterate over the invoices, but we're not going to iterate using an each block or something like that because our purpose is sorting. So what we can do is utilize the sort by method in Ruby, and sort by takes a block. So what we can do with this is inside of our sort by block, we can work with this invoice. So what the sort by method expects is for you to pass in a block and for you to pass in what value you want to sort by. So in this case, I want to sort by the total value. And this is going to give us a sorted method right on the value. Now this is not going to work by itself because by default, the way sort by works is it takes in these parameters and it's going to take the lowest value first because by default, it sorts in ascending order and 300, it would be the first one that it looks at, then it would go to 500, then it'd go to 1000. But this is a pretty easy fix. So the last thing we need to do is right at the very end of the block, just type in reverse. And this is going to take each one of the invoices, it's going to sort it by the total, like you can see here, then when the entire system's returned, so when the object is returned, it is going to reverse the value. So it's going to take each one of them, it's gonna take Amazon, then it's gonna do Google, and then Yahoo. So let's verify that this is working with, by taking a look first at just kind of creating these values. So I'm going to copy each one of these, and let me unindent this. And now we can call our total sorter method and call invoices on it. So if I save this, this should return each one of the items with the correct order. So now if I come down to line 17, you can see the very first one that gets returned is for Amazon. Then the next one is for Google and lastly, Yahoo. So that is working perfectly. So hopefully that's pretty clear on exactly what's going on. This is relatively straightforward, but I thought it was worth it because we haven't really talked about the sort by method before. And if you've never used it, it may not seem the most intuitive. Usually you're used to passing in arguments and different values like that into methods. But here what we're looking to do is slightly different where we're actually looking to use our invoices. So, or I should say, uh, use a block and pass in a block. So that's a little bit different. Let me close this out. And now if I run our spec February the 10th, 
then this should pass and it does. We have one example, zero failures. So that is how you can utilize the sort by method, how you can pass it a block and implement some custom sorting mechanism inside of Ruby collections.